All right, go ahead. Next clip. Okay, next clip. We're almost through these. I think it's And all one. of a sudden, I noticed that the very first sermon, the very first Christian sermon, the message of the gospel of good news of the resurrection, Jesus chose a woman to deliver it to men. He had Mary Magdalene go and tell the disciples. Now, that clearly wasn't an accident. It was an intentional. It's a whole new world, baby. Now he has a woman go tell the apostles. You got on, Can a woman teach an apostle? Evidently did it on the first day. He chose her to be the first preacher of the gospel. Whoops. There again. This is a woman going to give information to men. <laughs> It's like if you're a woman in a church and there's people outside praying and, and having a little mini revival and the pastor sitting in his office has no idea what's going on. She says, hey, there's something happening in the parking lot. Go check that out. It's yeah. pretty cool. There's this thing that's happening. A lot of egalitarians use this. But complementarians, maybe not the die -hard, most diehard complementarians out there, but complementarians think that women should go preach the gospel. And people should, women can teach people things. Like, a lot of people recognize that Priscilla and Aquila both, you know, Priscilla was there teaching Apollos more correctly, right? Mm -hmm. None of these passages have anything to do with can a woman hold the office of elder or pastor in a local church congregation. And so I'm telling you again, there are complementarians who could agree with everything that Rick Warren just said and said so. Yeah, I mean, that's me. I don't know a, like, when you grow up in the American South in a Southern Baptist church or for definitely for sure in an independent Baptist church, um, you're going to run into, you're going <clears> to, <throat> you're going to run into couples that will pour into your life. You'll be what they call a young preacher boy, one of the young preacher boys, and you'll be asked to come over to people's houses and men and women will pour into you. And in fact, it is often women who will spend you know, the most time with you sitting there talking and, and asking about, you know, your life and your family and all these kind of things. And so I've had many Aquila and Priscilla help me and I didn't see it as a threat to complementarianism. Yeah. So, so as an egalitarian, I have to say, once again, I, I, I don't like it when egalitarians try to run away from the quote unquote problem texts when that's the only text that anyone's ever really actually interested in. Now, I understand as an egalitarian, you do want to create a, an apparatus, a, a scaffolding, a theological framework, which to view all the Bible. I understand that. But at the same time, when you're just trying to spitball, you need to, you need to do more than, I know those verses are there, but 